Right, this is my portable antenna system for HF. It's a halfway vertical, it's a 10 meter uh, fiberglass pole, which is meant for a kite type thing. Uh, it's reasonable quality. And uh, that's the bottom and that's the top. And this is how I've got it wired up. At the bottom of it, I've got a 49 to one ballon, which I got from G4ICD rfcoms.co.uk and uh, I have that cable tied on there and then I've got a wire that's a bullet connector the reason I've used that is that that's what uh, G4ICD uses so on, on the commercial setups that he sells I'm not sure the ins and outs of why that would be but it certainly fits the terminal perfectly and then I've got a wire permanently attached. It goes all the way to the top. And at the top end, I have four turns of wire. Uh, and what this does is with a half wave antenna, it, if you use it on multiples of the frequency, it pulls the resonant point down on the upper bands. It does that because um, on the lower frequency band, see, we're, uh, this is a half wave normally for 20 meters. So on 20 meters, that's actually quite a small inductance and it will effectively be ignored. But on 10 meters, it will be have much more of an effect on the antenna and it will lower the frequency down. If it didn't do that, it would be resonant up on 29 megahertz. So you need that. And then on the end of this bit of wire, I've got a power pole connector. And the reason I chose power poles is that it has a very large contact area, which I thought was a good idea. Uh, and also I have the crimping tool. So what will happen is that I will carry this with me and I will take a couple of elements that will plug in here. Uh, one will be for 20 meters and one will be for probably for 17. And I might even do one for 30 meters because although this is a 10 meter pole, when I've used it as a half wave in the past, um, because of the inductance in the uh, transformer, you end up with uh, probably about eight, eight and a half meters on 20 meters. So a 30 meter half wave um, is going to be longer than the pole, but not much longer. So you can actually just use it like a guy, attach, attach a string to it. And what I'm going to do is color code them. So I will use different colored uh, power pole connectors so that I can tell which is which. Uh, and then they'll be put up the pole, which extends out from here and uh, I'll make some fixings, which will probably just be tubes. Uh, you can put a tube round which, which which holds it against the pole. So that is the half-wave antenna system. And the bottom of it will be usually strapped to a fence post. Or I do have a ground spike that it can attach to as well. So there we are. Half-wave antenna system. Portable. And we'll see how it performs. Uh, over the next wee while.